Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we uh, we see the full adder implementation using decoders. Full adder uh, implementation using decoders. All right. We we saw this in the introductory video that we can implement Boolean functions with the help of these encoders and decoders, all right? And today we see how, okay? So we take a specific example. We took the full adder to, to, to understand it in a more better way. So let's say we have A, B, and the C input, and then the sum and the carry output. All right, now you know the truth table of it. Okay, so this is the truth table for the full adder. You know that, all right? Now, how do you implement it to, uh, to uh, decode it, all right? So if you see, the number of inputs is 3. Inputs is 3, which means uh, your m is equal to 3, all right? And you have the decoder as an m cross n, in which n is 2 to the power m, which means we have 2 to the power 3 is 8 output lines. So the decoder would be like this, all right? Uh, like this. This would be the 3 cross 8 decoder, which you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then you have what? 1, 2, and 3 input lines. So the 3 input lines would be what? This would basically be your 3 inputs. That is your A. B and your carry input. All right. And what about the output lines? So the output lines will be your min terms. Min terms. All right. Which means that this would be M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, and M7. And you know that from here. All right. Which of them are? which min terms so I can write over here also m0, m1, m2, m3, m4, m5, m6 and m7. Now you have a look. Uh, for, for which min term, now, you know, for the sum, for the sum you have what? Uh, the summation of min terms what? Well that, we check for that which are high. So this is m1, we have m2, and then you have M4 and M7. 1, 2, 4, and 7, all right? And then for the carry output, you have the summation of main terms. That is M3, M5, M6, and M7, all right? 5, 6, and 7. So now what do you do? Now you take those main terms and you or them together, all right? So for, for the sum, for the sum you have... Uh, 1, 2, 4, and 7. So this is the 1, okay? Uh, this is 2, this is the 4th, and this is the 7th. So you take them and you or them. Now this gives you the sum, all right? Okay? And for the carry, what do you have? For the carry, you have 3, 5, 6, and 7. So this is your 3. Uh, this would be 5, 6, and 7 from here directly, okay? This is another OR gate, and this will give you your carry output. All right, so this is how you implement your any circuit, all right? This is how you implement any circuit. You take the min terms, for that, and the min terms are what? For which the function's value is high. You give it to the decoder as input, the, in, the very inputs that are given over here. And the output, you have the min terms. You check for the high min terms and then you order them together. That's all about this lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.